All right, guys, I have in my hands the long-awaited and brand new Nexus bar put out by Clench Fitness. I got this yesterday. I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions about this versatile resistance band slash weight bar. If it isn't too obvious what this thing does or it's got going for it, you can put these patented carabiner clips in here to put some resistance bands, some loop style bands in here, and also you can add on some external weight plates. If you guys have been following my channel, you guys know I'm pretty sure I have the most reviews on the internet for a variety of resistance band bars, specifically ones that use loop style bands. I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions because I more or less kind of know what to expect from these bars. There are some special things I'll be kind of looking for as I do this initial first impressions, but I thought in this video it made more sense to kind of go through some key exercises and give you guys my initial thoughts kind of on camera as I do these things for the first time. Because I just got mine yesterday, just unboxed it. I think all the orders are initially done for pre-order or probably being sent out or some of you guys already have them. This thing is definitely up there as far as price. So it's something that's kind of a novelty item and something I can see where some people wanna hear a review before they pull the trigger on this. They do of course make other resistance band and other fitness products like their clench handles, their foot plate, both of those I reviewed. And you could say this kind of goes part of like their system with their foot plate that also goes along with this very nicely. But if you guys do want to save 15% on this or anything from Clench Fitness, you guys can use my promo code SBT15, saves you guys 15%. But as always, with that being said, guys, I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts about this product. So some general specs about this thing and just my thoughts on the unboxing process. When this thing came in the box, I was reminded again, this thing is a USA made product. I like how that little end cap there in the logo looks as well. But one thing I noticed when I picked up the box was just kind of how light it is compared to uh, this recent four foot bar I picked up for a very similar purchase. And I'll talk about that probably in a future video, but this feels much heavier and this feels nice and light, which I do like. They are both about four feet in full length, but the biggest thing is that the clench bar sacrifices up here, this kind of little short stub nub there for the weights versus a regular four foot bar has a longer kind of length on that on the collar but more so in the shaft, they give you more room here, I think, which makes more sense for the purpose of this bar. But also, I think it might sacrifice uh, just some of the weight, but I think I, you're gonna want a lighter weight for this, and I'll get into that here in a second. But as far as just aesthetics, the bar looks great. Uh, it's basically made up of anodized zinc-plated steel. It gives it a nice kind of finish, great feel to it in general, perfect, I would say, moderate knurling is kind of what you want. It has a 200 pound weight limit load for the external weight plates, and they're not gonna fit a ton of weight plates on here. You could definitely fit, I'd say, three 25 pound weight plates, which is probably fine for most people. And then it has a 1,000 pound weight limit of tensile weight for resistance bands, so probably well more than you're actually gonna need. It is a four inch inside the patented kind of carabiner clip system that they have here. It has four inches, so this will fit probably the biggest of bands. You can see I just started going through the ringer of some big bands I have from Clench, I have these giant uh, serious steel bands, have the X3 Elite band, then I have the biggest and probably strongest band on the internet is the Harambe Blue Kong band, and that fits fine. And actually I stacked them all up in here. I wouldn't recommend stacking a bunch of deep bands, you probably never do this, because then it does get a little difficult to actually take them out of the carabiner clip system, which we'll get into that kind of pro and con here towards the end. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you my first impressions using some key exercises with the Nexus bar and also the clench foot plate. I make that little caveat and emphasizing that not just to kind of use their whole system or kind of package here, but just to make a note, and I've said this before in past videos, that if you're using say like a smaller foot plate, smaller bar system, so like the X3, that band tension comes a little bit more direct and like kind of a straighter line. Also, that band tension will be a little bit weaker because you're not having a pre-stretch in the band. And that can be kind of, I'd say, personal preference. There's some pros and cons of that. I personally like a more narrow foot plate. I've said that many times this channel also end up narrow bar. I don't think it's a giant deal, but the point is, even using a lighter band, it's gonna feel a little bit heavier, not just with the wider bar, but also with the wider foot plate. With all that being said, though, again, I would say I do like, if you're gonna have a wide bar, I kinda like a little bit wider foot plate. So I'll just kinda say that and leave it as is. So I'm gonna jump into first a bicep curl. I did do one bicep curl just before this to make sure I was in frame. But other than that, I'll tell you my first impressions here. And I will say, you know, it, it, I've used this bar many times. I like these kind of moderate tension bars. It feels already, you know, pretty heavy as is. And then I'll put the actual weight plates on here in a second but just doing a moderate curl, kind of what you expect, uh, feels really smooth. I'm just kind of going into this really cold too, so I'm feeling a little stiff, just kind of get myself limbered up here, but definitely hard out of the gates. And it feels heavy, but not super heavy, like when I compare it to the Vector Athletics bar, that felt, thing felt really heavy. 
One thing I noticed that's a good thing is that sometimes even though you have collars independently rotated of each other, that they're not getting stuck. So see that the carabiners are kind of locked in where they should be. That's definitely a good sign. Let's go ahead and throw on some weight plates. I'm just gonna put a 10 on each side here. All right, and this will be interesting, also practical, because that's kind of the selling point with this. And the advantage, depending how you want to look at it, is in the whole force curve idea, in the sense that where the resistance bands are kind of a weak point is that that force curve, the strength starts to get harder as you kind of curl up and you don't get a lot of you know, stress on the musculature in a given joint on those lower end of the range of motion or the first part of the range of motion. So let's just see how this feels. So this is theoretically kind of the best of both worlds here. Definitely tougher. I would say in general, uh, feels good. I mean, it's just an extra level of intensity, kind of what you'd expect out of it. It just feels harder overall. And this is only 10 on each side. So I can imagine putting a 25 and a 25 and a 25, what that would feel like. What I do think is a good advantage of having the combination or option of having weight plates with resistance bands, I'd say for a lot of people, it's just the idea of progression. So now just instead of just like increasing your repetitions or partial repetitions, or obviously adding more bands or whatever, is that now you can actually add some even small increments to weight and just keep the same band tension and just go up say you know a few pounds on each side as your level of progression for each day or you know set of exercises you guys want to progress on all right and since i got some weight on let's go ahead and do some overhead shoulder presses and again just feels good i mean it feels nice and smooth surprisingly you know that weight even with that little bit of 10 pounds a little bit doesn't make a difference. It just feels nice. It's a little extra something. You definitely feel like it's there. I've done enough resistance band presses to know what that more or less feels like. So I definitely like that. It feels good. Okay, now what I want to do is try the chest press. And this is the one that I think is going to be interesting. And I think one of the benefits that the Nexus bar has going for it, being a lighter bar and still pretty versatile. So I'm just going to grab the X3 black here. And you got, you can saw my initial unboxing there that you got plenty of room with that. This is probably one of the biggest things it has going for it. When I first saw this bar and some other things that are similar to what we may talk about in the future is that I was worried that if this thing is heavy, it's not gonna feel very natural for chest pressing or at least a standing chest press. Of course, you could rig it on your back though and it'd be fine. Distance is fine. Of course, you can go closer, you can go further, but knurling feels good. That's actually something else I'm paying attention to right here. But just doing a chest press feels very good. You actually could handle probably a much heavier weight here. This kind of feels kind of light for me right now, but I just like just mostly the biggest thing is how, how light it feels in my hands. That's definitely a huge pro. You can do standing press with this and it's not heavy enough where you're like having to support the bar. All right, let's do a bent over row. And honestly, I'm gonna go lighter. I was gonna use the green clench, but let's go back to this purple. I always say it's kind of the sweet spot. This feels actually pretty easy. I could have gone heavier here, but obviously not expecting much. It feels fine. Let's put on some heavier weights. Let's actually try 45s on this one. Okay, so pretty cool. I haven't done this before. I'm actually gonna put the bands a little more centered in the carabiner. All right, just another bent over row here. All right, that feels good. Pretty tough. Honestly, you can see I barely finished that. Let's go underhand grip. Had a hard time finishing off that range of motion, but it feels good. Let's just do deadlifts from here. I really like this. This actually feels something unique compared to a normal resistance band deadlift. Really like that. That was probably my favorite unique exercise to do with weights and bands on a bar like this. I say this in general, not just with bands, with weights too. I do like a, the weight to be kind of tighter to my body. So if you imagine using a standard barbell, this would feel a little bit different because the weights are further away from just like wherever the point of action, say your arms, you know, bicep curl, or like a row, whatever. So. I really do like this distance. I love the way this kind of feels. So probably right now, it's that my favorite exercise to do with this bar would be the deadlift. Now, the only downside is I had to double check this again, but this thing only holds 
a max weight, a recommended max weight of 200 pounds on the barbell, but that's one of the reasons you probably wouldn't be deadlifting with a small bar. You'd probably be using a bigger bar, but some other bars, I think do have a heavier weight limit. I think this other, this four foot bar has a much heavier weight capacity, probably because the collars are longer. So kind of a downside of a trade-off, but then again, if you're using this with bands, it's gonna feel much different. But the deadlift is a good example of something that does not have a direct carryover. I just had someone in the comment section a few weeks ago mention this, and I know it's the same thing. If you do or spend a lot of time doing resistance band deadlifts, and then you go back to me saying a conventional deadlift, it is very different. That conventional deadlift is gonna feel much harder and it's not gonna feel like a direct transfer because of obviously you're lifting heavier weight right out of the gates versus it starts to get heavier you know, at your stronger position right about here. So this will be an exercise if you got a bar. And I'd even say, honestly, if you're looking to pick something like this up, that'd be worthwhile picking this up for, I would say is just using some you know, deadlifting type patterns with resistance bands. Of course, now it's popping in my head though is if you're already getting weights, you might as well just do a regular deadlift, honestly, and then supplement it. So that should maybe go without saying, but is a unique, very cool feeling exercise. So I was going to show you guys, or try to attempt and see what would happen if I were to try and do a back squat with this weight on. It is just too cumbersome to kind of set up into that. So let's just try the regular back squat, which I know for a lot of you guys is still tough to get into, but this makes it a little extra harder because of the, the longer length to start out with with the bands. This is a, I might need a shorter one, but let's just see if I can. Actually, all right, that felt actually pretty easy. Yeah, I would definitely need big, heavier weights, but point is, yeah, you can definitely squat with this thing or back squat if you do wanna try that. Front squat, feels good. Zerker squat. So that was my first impressions about the exercises. Really nothing kind of stood out to me in a, you know, a bad way. I think some of these things were new, like I said, and it was definitely a unique experience combining the weights with bands, but uh, kind of what I expected. I wasn't expecting anything too dramatic, which is a, kind of a good thing. The biggest concern of mine was that they kind of messed this up in some way, but let's get into those overall pros and cons, these initial kind of thoughts going through my brain. First thing, uh, cons, some of these are minor personal preference and some of this is just design of the bar to keep things into consideration, like keeping this thing light. First of which is that the collar is kind of short, so you can't put a lot of weight in here. Not the biggest weight capacity, but I think you guys know it's not the purpose of this bar. It's not meant to be a universal, versatile bar. It's meant to be something that's specific to using bands with uh, weights. But you could still, of course, definitely do not put, weight, not put bands on here and just take advantage of a four foot bar for the curls and basic stuff. And I've been kind of saying this in a couple of past videos, recent videos that I do love basic four foot bars for a number of things. And I actually prefer a straight bar over an easy curl bar and the overall versatility and how it feels. So something else, it might not be a con for everybody. Some people might like it, but it's also probably part of the whole, you know, patented pending thing about this bar is the carabiner clip system. So I saw in one of the comments somewhere I probably wouldn't necessarily thought about this or like really care, but of course it's in the back of your head a little bit, is that these carabiners are spring loaded, the springs could fail or break, and then people say, well, renders their bar useless. I don't think so. I don't even think this is really necessary. I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure why they put this in there. I think probably because of the patented pending process could be totally off on that. But uh, yeah, just if these ever did break, I think your bands are gonna be fine. But the point is this could fail potentially. I think this thing's pretty durable, pretty solid. I don't think I've really ever had a carabiner fail. I got one that's a little loose, but otherwise I think this thing's gonna be fine for most people's uses. Uh, it is of course expensive, more expensive than a traditional four foot bar. Uh, again, shameless plug though, you can save 50% off this bar with the promo code, so I'm just gonna throw that out there. But it is pricey, so this is something that might be a novelty item for some people, especially if you already got resistance band bar type things, and this might may or may not be worth it to you. Personal preference, again, this bar might be longer for some people. Uh, others might prefer a shorter dimension or shorter length bar, uh, just for also saving you know, some slack on the bands when you start a lift. Compared to other things in this kind of demographic, it is not travel friendly, like some of these bars that can kind of collapse, but this is definitely much weaker than this thing, no question. So what you're sacrificing for portability, you're making up for in its durability and the fact it can handle and do what it does. So. I would say that's kind of the trade-off there. And now the pros, first for me, I, I do love that it is USA made. So I'm actually was a little surprised they didn't make it USA made. So that's really cool. Aesthetically, very pleasing bar. 
I always say over and over again, if something looks aesthetically pleasing, you're more likely to kind of use it. So that definitely has it going for it. I already said this in the con section, but I kind of do prefer a straight bar compared to maybe like easy curl bar, but that is again, totally personal preference. Gigantic benefit, and I would say a major important thing they considered into their design is that it is very light. Like I showed you with that chest press. So I love that it is still pretty heavy duty, but also light enough to still hold one hand comfortably. This is more of an obvious pro, but if you're considering this versus another type of resistance band bar, it would be that now you have the option of weight plates. So it's a little more of a versatile bar if this is like your first purchase. And if you're looking for what I would consider the most OP, that's what the young people say, at least my nephews tell me, I sound old now at this point, but overpowered resistance band bar foot plate setup, this would be what it is. Uh, the clenched foot plate in combination with this, they pair very nicely. I think it would be kind of weird if they had this gigantic heavy duty foot plate and something kind of dainty. And I'd say a final pro, this has to go more so with the company. Clench Fitness is a solid Midwestern based company, uh, Midwestern values, I'll say that too. So awesome people, I can't say enough about them. Very supportive uh, to the channel. And I always say many times, I talk and work with a bunch of different companies and you kind of know a little about the company and the way you just kind of have correspondence with them. So solid company, can't say enough about Clench Fitness in general. Um, they have warranties on these things. They honor everything. They're very quick and very good with their customer service. That's always a solid thing and definitely something I always want to recommend if I'm recommending a brand, company, or product. With that said though, guys, interested to hear your thoughts, opinions, or anything else you guys want to see with this thing in the future, let me know and I'll see you guys on the next video.